All right, guys, today I want to show you about setting priorities um, within playbacks. Now, this is a real life situation that arose this week, so I thought I would explain it to you. What we're looking at here, I'm actually remote remoting into one of the ex executor screens on a, on a rig in a club in the city. This is the main execute screen, and recently we added a Fog Blast, which is a, a American DJ Fog Fury jet. And we also have CO2 cannons in this club. We don't use them all the time. But one thing that we wanted to do, the, the scenario is like this. The Fog Fury jet has shoots basically a blast of fog that's similar to what a CO2 looks like. And it has a ring of LEDs that are around the cannon so that the fog blast has a color to them. Now what we want, so what I basically just made is a big flash button where you hold down the button and it shoots the blast until you let go of the button and then it it, it um, stops shooting the blast. Now what we wanted is if a pattern, a sequence is being run within the club, you know, all the lights are running a certain color pattern and when you hit the fog blast, we wanted all the other lights to shut off temporarily as that blast is happening. So it just, all you see is the blast. And <clears throat> because of the because of the way that I have the executor set up, that was creating a bunch of problems with overriding those execute buttons. So what we decided to do is to use the master grandmaster fader and so, or the black, the DBA, DBO button, the blackout button. So what you could do is you basically tap that um, blackout button and then hit the fog blast. And as you tap the blackout button, it'll shut all the lights in the club, but the fog blast, the fog fury jet won't be affected by that. The second issue was that when we have CO2 cannons, we have them on a playback where you just either hit the flash button or you move the fader up. Right now, one thing that we do notice is that some nights where we don't want, well, we have certain patterns running within the overall execute, and we have the grand master turned, let's say, 75% or 50%, and that's because <clears throat> all the lights together in the club are just too bright for the situation. So we want to take them as a group down. So as we do that. What we notice if we take them too low, when we use the CO2 cannon, it's not getting 100% dimmer because as you adjust your, as you adjust your grandmaster, it's actually taking the percentages of the intensity and bringing them down. Anyway, so what, what I want to do is set up my fog blast and my playback for um, the CO2 cannon and have that not be affected by the grandmaster. So in essence the fog blast playback and the co2 cannon playback will sit above the priority of the grandmaster fader so that even if the grandmaster fader is at one percent we can still use those two fog blast and co2 at a hundred percent maybe that's a little confusing but if you run into this situation this is the best way to do it now like i said this is i'm actually at home but this is the computer the uh, execute screen of the uh, campus in the club right now so the club is not open obviously but um, I'm able to change settings in here and if anyone is interested to see how you can set this system up where you can remote into the campus system in any of the clubs that you have it installed just let me know and I'll make a tutorial on that so now if we include in the programmer the fog blast right we can take a look at what that looks like and it's simple it's basically the fog at 100% and no color data. The reason I have no color data is because these executors, which have different patterns for the night as they go on, will set the color that the fog blast will be. So if we're on a red static or a red moving preset for the club, if you hit the fog blast, the fog's gonna be red. If you were on something that's like the blue and red or the aqua, when you hit the fog blast, it's gonna reference those colors. So, or if you have all colors, like the whole club is green, when you hit fog blast, it's going to reference that. So this is just the way I have it set up. So if we look at the programmer here, we can see that this is at full 
And if we look at the output, let's see. Let's go down. So it's, it's moving a little slow because, like I said, I'm remote, remote, remoting in. So let's see if we can see where the... Okay, so uh, come on down. Okay, so here it is at max. Now, if I bring my master fader down, you can see how it's see how it, it shuts it to off. See, so now it's at max fog. But if I bring this down, or if I just hit the that, it's going to turn it to off, right? And I don't want that to happen. What I want is for when you hit the blackout to turn everything else to zero percent, except the fog fury so I can still use the fog fury so we're in our programmer here we need to find what cue this is in the stack store I believe let's see if it's in the stack store I need to find where maybe it's in the cue store to find where it's at okay here we go let's see This is probably not the best way to do this, but I'm just trying to find. Maybe it's in the. Where the heck is it? View key stack. View Q. Let's see. Yeah, this is it. So this is um, fog at 100%. So if we go to close this again. This is our Q stack, and I believe under view options in advanced. Let's see where it is. Master effects level. So this means that the master, the grand master, is affecting the level of this Q. So in theory, if I turn this to no. When we access the queue, update, let's just clear it. When we access this queue now, it should, in theory, not affect the output of the Grandmaster. Or it shouldn't be affected by the Grandmaster. So our Grandmaster is up. Um, if we go to or execute and we hit this now as we engage this so it's hard it's not going to be easy to see so i'm going to just this button is on a f um, flash so if we just change it to a regular button whoops it'll be easier to see okay so now as we turn it on right so it's engaged we look at the out and we see it's at max right now if we turn the master down Everything else should go to zero, whoops, except for the Fog Fury jet, and that's what we want. So it, it still went to off, so let's, we might not have hit the right, <laughs> the right, let's see, include, let's find out where it's at. So this is Q. to let's see stack oh and that was for the co2 actually that was the, the co2 stack but where is the these are our playbacks where's our cues we close that All right stack store fog blast right So we want to look at the Q stack, go to view options. So right here, so you see where it says masters affects levels. It's going to say no. Okay, so now if we look at our execute window, let's check out our out real quick. So it's not activated, right? So now if we go to our execute, 
we turn the fog fury blast on and now if we go to our output it shows that it's at max fog right and now if i turn my master fader down you'll see these will all go down except for the fogger whoops so now you can see that this fog blast button will always be active even if the master the grandmaster of the entire club is turned down and that's what we wanted and i believe we already did that for the co2 cannon so we are all good there anyway that was well i need to turn this back to a flash button let's put this put this on flash right button flash you execute right so now when you click it, it'll basically hit the blast, but it'll override the Grandmaster. And the same with the CO2. If we go to the CO2, we check view options, advanced, master effects level, no. So that means that if the Grandmaster is down, the club is completely dark. We can still use those two blasts and uh, cannons to effect to uh, send signal out even though the grandmaster is off so then during the night if they choose they want to black out the club but use the blaster which has the colored blast lights they can just hit the dbo button and then hit the fogger button and it's on and then you release the dbo and you release the fog and all the lights go right back to the preset patterns anyway hopefully that was um interesting to you it took me a minute to figure out the best way to um, make that happen now if we were just using all playbacks and doing more of a busking type setup it wouldn't be as hard but because the way this club is and they basically they don't have an operator who operates their system everything has to be like idiot proof and able to just click a button the manager can click a button and just walk away or the dj for the night clicks a button walks away and so that's the reason why my screens are set up um, pretty much so a five-year-old can run the lighting rig Anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will get back to you with hopefully some answers. If someone knows a better way to do this than the way I have it set up, uh, I'd love to hear about it and we can learn together. All right, guys and girls, have a great night. Thanks.